Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our backyard. In this morning's video, I'm going to take you around with me as I kind of go about the yard and listen and just take in what's going on. My name is Crystal, and I garden specifically for butterflies, hummingbirds, pollinators, and I feed birds in my backyard. I garden south of Houston in Zone 9, pretty close to the Texas Gulf Coast. And I like to come out early in the morning just to observe what goes on. Birds come down and feed. <laughs> I do live in the suburbs. So of course there's modern noises like trucks and cars and everything. But I like to come and just take a look at what goes on in the backyard. You can see a blue jay over there hanging on my peanut feeder. And it's cute because he's on the other side since I'm over here. He was comfortable going on the other side. They're pretty comfortable with me though. I like to film in the early morning because the lighting is so much better. But when I film in the early morning, the pollinators really aren't out. And in particular, the butterflies aren't. They're just starting to fly now. But I like to come out and survey. I like to see what type of butterflies are out. I'm going to look this way since I have the host plant. This is a Gulf fritillary. And the Gulf fritillary is common in my backyard because I have this host plant and that is a passion vine. And so I'll typically have quite a few Gulf fritillaries in the yard. They're orange butterflies. They've got really pretty wings. Isn't that pretty? That one's just chilling on my salvia. I do have a volunteer passion vine over here, and so that's why I'll see lots of fritillaries on this side also. I like to take a look at different vantage points just to see what's going on. I've got, oh boy, I've got three long-tailed skippers over there flying around that are feeding off <laughs> of the purple porterweed. And of course, I always have a lot of native bees, bumblebees, carpenter bees. This one is a long-tailed skipper.
He is really liking the red porter weed here. My female hummingbird likes to come out real early. And so I've probably already missed her. The butterflies, especially the Gulf fritillaries, are over on this side, which is the, my full sun area. They're over here because of the host plants and also it's starting to get sunny. Let me go on the other side. So in the North Garden bed, I also like to come out and survey to see what's going on. I do actually throughout the whole garden. I like to take a look if I can identify any caterpillars on my bronze fennel, I still have eastern black swallowtail caterpillars. Had a lot of them this year. And I know I've mentioned I'm surprised that they haven't gotten eaten. Bees love mystic spires, salvia. So if I come over and take a look, I can see that my ground cover is growing quickly, but it's also getting munched on quickly. And I have quite a few pipevine swallowtail caterpillars also of all different sizes. I am going to zoom in and one is on a flower that it's eating. And they're all different sizes over here too, which I love. They seem to grow very quickly though. Mm. And I love that too, because I love having butterflies in the yard all summer. So if any of you are aspiring to invite more butterflies into your yard. The key is to adding host plants to the butterflies that are common in your area. This native milkweed to Arizona is flowering really pretty. It's a little bit more narrow than our native aquatic milkweed here in Texas. And I have a Greg's Mist flower in through here. And I have seen queen butterflies. In fact, I saw a queen butterfly laying eggs yesterday on my giant milkweed. And I have giant milkweed in the area also that's available for both monarchs and queen butterflies. So as I'm inspecting everything, I like to see the new flowers that are blooming. This is my blue butterfly clerodendron that butterflies love. And it wasn't doing so great. And neither was this plant. This plant is the host, a host plant to red admirals and 
Come to find out, my drip was, was plugged and was not working, so they weren't getting enough water. So now that I've solved that, they're looking so much better. And I'm getting butterflies. I'm getting, this looks like a butterfly. And it's such a pretty blue color. I really like this flower. I don't have a lot of scent, scented plants in my garden, but this bush salvia, which is called maraschino, and I think that's because of this red color. It probably is the color of a maraschino cherry. Pollinators like that dainty little flower. Kind of reminds me of hot lips. But I love to come and just rub the leaves because the scent of these leaves is just outstanding. It seems like bumblebees are on Mystic Spire's salvia all day long. <laughs> They're fun to watch. And they're pretty big. I love seeing native bees in the yard. I don't mind honey bees. Honey bees are not native to North America. And I love seeing these native bees. So I can always come to Mystic Spires and see bumblebees working away. All different types of bees actually. One of my pipevine swallowtails is out and he's out sunning himself on the coral honeysuckle. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see. He's been around for a while because he's not very vibrant in color, but he's sunning himself before he gets out and about for the day. And the more the sun comes out, the more activity there is. It's pretty peaceful in the morning. And so even though I have activities that I need to do, like water and weed, I don't have a lot of hand watering I need to do, but I do have containers that I have throughout the yard, hanging baskets that I need to typically hand water. This is when I have a lot of the activity. So I like to just come out and take a look at what's going on, just to be a part of it. It's fun to have butterfly, hummingbird, and pollinator gardens, but it's also fun to enjoy what's here. We're getting towards the end of June and so it's hot down here. We get into the 90s during the day, even up to the mid 90s. And of course it's humid, so it's hard to be outside. It's hard to be outside. <laughs> mm. 
during a good portion of the day. So mornings are a really good time. This salvia just keeps on producing. Oh, I love salvia. You know, I have a bee that I call Ugly Bee, and he hovers. And the reason I call him Ugly Bee is it's like he has three eyes. And I don't know if you could see him, but he's right in this area and he's hovering. <laughs> and I have quite a few in the yard. It's some type of native bee. And they hover and they escort other bees out of their territory. <laughs> Any of you know what that bee is called? I'd be curious to know. It's hard to see it. He's right there. He hovers and it's like he guards, he guards an area. And if another bee comes into the area, he likes to escort him out. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Poor guy. It's called ugly bee because of those, what look like three eyes to me. You can hear that clucking. Chirp, chirp. That sound? That is a red bellied woodpecker. I have them in my yard all day long. Mom and Dad come to feed on the suet called bark butter, and they bring their fledglings and their babies with them. I'm going to zoom in a little here. He likes to announce, the male likes to announce his entrance <laughs> coming into the yard. It's pretty funny. They're pretty used to us though. If you can hear that little chirp, chirp like that in the yard, those are cardinals. And I've got a female cardinal over at this feeder. I also have a woodpecker coming down the tree. Some blue jays. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see. That is a red-bellied woodpecker. And this is a female cardinal. And I've shared with you the reason I invite birds into the yard is to help with pest control. And they really do. 
Plus, they're fun to watch. So when I'm out inspecting my gardens in the morning, I love to watch the birds. And because I feed them what they like, they really don't go after my butterflies. And this year I've been pretty lucky because they have not been eating the caterpillars in my yard either. And then of course, the wonderful sound of a cicada. <laughs> I said that tongue in cheek. Well, thanks everyone for joining me this morning. It's a little bit different kind of a video, just coming out and observing in the yard. I love to do that. And I wanted to bring with you with me today because that's something that I do do every single day. Oh, listen to that cicada. Yesterday I watched a blue jay grab one and eat it. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you all have a wonderful day today. And I hope to see you again soon.